Hello everybody, this is Carl. Welcome back to Aeronautica. A few moments ago, there has been a new update release, version 1.152. Feel free to pause the video as you read the update notes, and I'm scrolling down. new aircraft and some more remodels you think I had to record this again because the Xbox game bar crashed for some reason And you could have looked at this, there was there was a lot of players greeting me, unlike this time around. I didn't know the 757 were to be updated. Strike Eagle inactive. So they've remodeled Kappa. It's based on Satsuma Yoshima in Japan. Then Shodai Chang, they've renamed it to Yuncho Peihai. Right, let's now teleport to a random server, and yes, proceeds my friend, <laughs> since Wings World 5. <laughs> Alright, how about Echo, Delta Echo, Charlie, Delta 8. As I said, I've tried to record this again because... <laughs> but I hope after the fix, we can record in like more than 30 minutes. Right, so if due to that crashing issue, you've missed me logging my next A380 into epic status, it was this one. the. All right, let me type in the chat. So here are the concurrent players at Echo Deckle Echo Charlie Delta 8. Hello, Edward. Oh, they haven't fixed the chat yet. So anyways, I was in the middle of a job chain using the A380 in the modern Qantas livery. Ethics of the what? I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean by that, but what do you think of this? It's Victor Hotel Oscar Quebec Alpha, BH OQA, Nancy Burl Walton, <laughs> and I just once it logged five hours or three hundred minutes, I name it as usual. So to me, this there is almost perfect. It has the, the logos, its own wings ID, detailed engine, and most of the A380s don't match this 
kind of detail. So I'd say it's almost perfect. All right. So first off, since we're now here at Ububutsu, we will look at what it says here on the notes. This one here, the Boeing 777-300. Of course, the early iteration of the 777. Call it the B-market one. Right. So, as far as I know, only Cathay Pacific operates one of these. So, 21 plus 324, so that would be 6. Ah, reset again? Why is this always happening? As I type, it got reset back to the original. So, what color can we use here? We'll just pick from the palette. I don't remember what cast I used to have, but I think it's like this. Color two, and then color three is the wings. And there you go. The Boeing 777-300. The B Bravo 773. Uh, not good timing there, though. It's, it's already night, game time. All right. Now let's find a 777-300ER. The first more model. How about... Hmm. That's on Heagel here. Here's 777, the Hotel Zulu Alpha Kilo 41, the HC AK 41 of Saudi. What do you think? Well, from the <laughs> from the placement quality, I think this looks perfect. It has some wings ID. There we go. That's the white phosphor. Right, so let's look at the advanced customization of this. Oh, the 200 LRs on stock. Um, not to worry. I can fight anytime I like. Right, so here are the advanced customizations for the 777-300. Delivery kit's not been changed. So you've got SATCOM option 1 and SATCOM option 2. And for some reason, 1C and 1B are out of order. <laughs> right, so here is no SATCOM. And here is 1A, which is above the second door. 1B, here between the second and third. And 1C, which is just above the fourth. And for SATCOM option 2, we got 2A. 2A is behind the fourth door. Here's some comparisons. This is 1C and 2A. And 2B is in the front of the fourth. And 2C is behind the third. Comparison, that's 1B and 2C. All right, well, let me check the jet photos to, to see what this Saudi 41 has. Let's see. All right, so it's in front of the in front of the third and behind the fourth. So 1C, no, not 1C, yeah, it's 2B. Right. Okay, so it's 2A. And two, it's 1B, 2A. I got that right? Oh no, it's 
There's a SATCOM in front of the third. Okay, so it's, for some reason this they could have added more options to this. It's, the real Saudi 4-1 has a SATCOM in front of the th third door. Yeah, and it seems weird. Could have had more options. So one B is closest, but it doesn't matter. And one C is yeah, it's it's close to one B. It's the SATCOM is around here. So just for posterity's sake, we'll we'll make it like this. Alright. There goes your triple seven three hundred ER model. Let's now Teleport to Tecoronto International. And and if and for though and for some reason that, that broken record I got broken recording last time. Let's see where was that? Also in Hedral. Here is the Japan Airlines. And the sat complacents are perfect. What do you think of this Japan Airlines livery? Perfect or almost perfect. This is more bold than in the nor in the real plane. All right, to Toronto International, and here is KLM. The orange pride. Let me confirm this again and see what's that. Is it one C? I guess it's. Yeah, there's a sack come behind the third door, but I think that's smaller. Yeah, smaller than the. Smaller than 2A. So we'll have to stick to 2B. Hmm. I think it's a larger stack on the 2A, so once... But that's that's that. There's also a stack on behind this. Smaller than 1C. Well... Well, I hope they can add more options to this. So... Yes, the LR, so... Here we go, this is the Boeing 777-200LR. And you know why it's parked at Toronto International? Because Air Canada and uh, Toronto is Toronto. All right, so color one is the usual. Aircraft white, then jet black, typical of Air Canada and Aircraft gray. Here we go. Does this look like Air Canada? Here's your triple seven two hundred LR, the Bravo seven seven L. All right then. Let's now go to the 200 ER. And it's a normal 200 for some reason. <laughs> oh, what a bore. All right, so remember this, this is our normal 200. It's the British Airways livery, and let's press the maintenance menu, and it has its own advanced customization. They haven't changed their liveries yet, to the second generation. Alright, they also have SATCOM options, and let me check the... I have to look at check photos again. Okay, it's uh, Golf, Dash, Yankee, Mike, Mike, Golf.
All right. So there's a second behind the second door. So there's one A. One A is the. Yeah, this is the smaller one. Yeah, it should be larger than this one. One A is behind the second door. One B is be in front of the third. And there's second option two. There's two A, which is behind the third, and two B at the middle. So let's compare. I think it's one A, but for some reason it's it looks like a different sack on design. Okay, so there's no sack on for this one, but from the real planes, it's the shape is different. And your base variant, of course, normal two hundred and the two hundred ER. It gives you an extra range of 90 kilometers at the cost of adding 4 knots to stall speed. So let's just hold on to that. And your engine changes, engine option. We have been waiting for this, the engine option. So, so we'll have to stay at the Trent, the Trent 892. Oh, this chat this this chat box not updating. So I, s I have to scroll down manually. Right, the engine option. You can have the Trent 892, Rolls Royce. There's the Proton and Whitney 4000, the 90 variant. See any difference? Well, we could have. We'll use a. We'll try. I'll I'll ask someone to put on United Airlines on this, but. But for reference, here's the Trent 892. There's a Proton four, yeah, 4000 with a 90, 4090, and then there's the GE 90, the 94B sub variant, then 94B. So it'd be good with KLM. So. Yeah, KLM and Air France for GE90, and then United for Pratt and Whitney. And always Rolls Royce, it's American Airlines or British Airways. And some more of those charter and private aircraft. So here's your 200ER for normal 200. They just merged into one. That's a good idea. But at least you need to update your options. And you've seen this in one of my previous videos, the British Airways. Triple seven. Looks good here, but there's a placement issue. Yeah, this is close to the logo. So we can move this. So for further improvement, the future triple sevens, they have to move the British Airways closer to the coat of arms. All right, let's purchase this, let's confirm. This has a different shape than in the real plane, though. Now it's a 200. It's still labeled as 200 on the menu, but once you spawn, it will say 200 ER. What was that? Okay, let me read my notes. What's the next aircraft? All right. Let's go now to the Airbus A318. Where did I get that A318? So I recently bought this one. Yeah. And the original owner wants it in Air France. Well, I've read that Air France is going to retire these. And look at the look at the aircraft parked here at Clarence. <laughs> well, it says still says ULR for the A350. Yes. Oh, more supersonics. He 
you can now configure these, I guess. All right, let's go back to the A318. So I've painted in my airline colors in preparation for someone to paint this in Air France. All right. A318 has what? Sharklets? That doesn't make, I, I think that's, uh, that's only for business jet. I think only business jets have these sharklets for some reason. All right, here's your sharklets. But let's just go back to advanced fence winglets here. Now there's your radome. And I know it's black. What, what, what did my previous airline? All right, so the radome here, your external static, internal static, external, you see these lines, and internal, it's, you don't see them. And then there's a parenthesis on no belly UV. Where's the close parenthesis? Then belly, it should be around here. And then your nose, there's the no mask. And metal frames, you should see it by now. There's no mask, metal frames, or the Zorro mask. <laughs> Who puts a Zorro mask on an A318? Then you can add PPG aerospace window panels. You see the difference? There you go, standard, and that's uh, PPG. And you can also customize the engines to either the product with the P-6000 or the, or like most of other aircraft, the CFM International 56. Well, this should be default because Air France has them, so. Let's put no mask and no belly. Let's put external, no sharklets because it's Air France. And then, do you want a blocked overwing exit? So there's no exit, there's no door, and there's the door. What for reason, for Air France reasons, let's, let's leave that in. Oh no, the aerospace panels. Ugh. All right, I'll come back to this. All right then. Now let's find the A319. It's sold at Salem Regional. So not not Salem and <laughs> Salem Regional. It used to be Salem Regional, which is Palermo, but Salem Airport is Salem Airport. It's it's Alicante in Spain. How does this compare to Alicante? All right, Stipa Caproni is on stock. And where is the Airbus A319? Oh, it's white rarity. All right, so here's your Airbus A319. It begins with the Dash 100 variant, or yeah, every, they all have 100 variants. They're all 100, I guess. All right, I'm gonna buy one for myself. So, just for placement until someone could sell it theirs. So, so. All right, then the Aircraft gray. Right. Since it's white rarity, I can buy this for myself. As a temporary measure. All right. So, what is the advanced customization options for this one? All right. Do you want a SACOM or no? The SACOM is around here. 
and then there's a base variant. You want this, normal 100, or the 100 LR. But the cost, a cost of two capacity, and increase of 12 knots install speed, you'd have an extra range of 79 kilometers. And yes, only Qatar has LRs. Probably British Airways? You want an early static port or late static port? Okay, where where's where are they? So port side. So I, I don't see the I don't see the significant changes here. Let me know which where are these. And then the static dischargers, you want external, you want internal. Self-explanatory. And there's a wing route. There's a standard wing route without the belly and with the belly. And there's also streamlined. So here's the difference. Notice the difference there. And there's the streamlined width. So for now, let's Put it on streamlined, and of course the nose. You want it with Zoro mask, like the Neo variants, and also the metal frames. And there's the cockpit windows, usual with the A318. These two here, or these four. Then the engines. You want the IAE V2500 85 with single strike or dual strike. There's one strike here in the inner side, or you want two on the other side. You want you want both sides. Then there's also 5A of the CFM International CFM 56. Here's 5A, and there's 5B. So you see dual strikes. There's no strikes with 5 eights. Lots of options there. And you want one overwing exit, or you want two overwing exits. And winglets, of course. Who would have not forgotten this? You've got the standard fence. And then there's enhanced fence. It just adds an extra kilometer. And sharklets. Okay, what was the normal option here? Uh, oh yeah, LR. <laughs> Oh, what was what did I choose? Oh yeah, so one overwing exit, so sharklets. The maximum speeds decrease, and you add yeah the you'll be believing a smaller stall speed there, and then so just one kilometer and more range. What do you prefer? And there's your A319. Alright, time for the A320. And I have a lot of, I have like, four A320s from other players. So, let's see what we choose here. And, you want a normal one, or... Hmm, yeah. Alright. Let's let's take let's take this one, the topmost at Clarence, and this assumes to have Delta on it. The near Wiley, November three four five, November whiskey. So it's X Northwest now painted with Delta. So your options for the A three twenty. Here we go. Advanced customization.
Right, so this indeed delta has a set common there, 320. And then is there a static port? Okay, I don't know what the static port means, so anybody can tell. I don't know where the changes are. All right, so comparing it has an internal, as an internal. All right, it doesn't have any mass. Right. Right. So the rest are self-explanatory, but the concern here about the engines. So is it five A or five B, or do you want single strike or dual strike? The I eight. Beat 2500. So single strike, this one, and dual strike. <laughs> yeah, so much reflection. Uh, so for Delta, it's this one. All right. And the landing gear. You want a, you want a standard gear or double bogey? It it, it adds. Three knots to your stall speed. And the wing root course, like standard or streamlined. I know it's <laughs> it's airline colors. We'll go back to that. And the shark lips. Or, <laughs> yeah. Would you like a standard fence winglet? And there's enhance. It's just one kilometer. And you want shark lips on it? Or you want no winglets? Well, that already makes it a 100 variant of the A320. And I guess only Air France still has these in service. But there you go, this is your Airbus A320. The current engine option, the CO. And we purchased the customization. All right, so note to self, Charlie wanted a, <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> yeah, Charlie didn't tell me what var what airlines he wanted, but, and as well as uh, Dynamic, so I can, I can put it in any, <laughs> all of those variants though. However, Dynamics wanted this American. And Death Striker wants this Pakistan. So much for variety there. All right, let's now go for the Airbus A321. Where is the A321? All right, it's sold at Oakport. So let's go to Oakport Airport. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot about this one, the freighter. All right, then. What are the customization for this? Do you have a SATCOM? Or... You want a SATCOM on this freighter? Or you... Oh, it's over here. So you're 
triple seven freighter it's here and they've somehow they modified the vertical stabilizer so it used to have the Lufthansa logo on this one as an example but now oh here's the oh left instantly all right Lufthansa cargo It doesn't have a... <laughs> yeah, it, they just updated the vertical stabilizer there. They didn't tell us. <sighs> so your only option for the 777 freighter is the SATCOM. Being in a LR parium. So let's... Let's see if they updated the... Alright, that is correct. Should be the LR. And then, what about the curated liveries? Have they been updated? Alright, it's still red. Of course, they haven't updated the curated liveries. Right, hope they do this soon, because, you know. Alright, so, back at Oakport. And here is the green rare. Airbus A321-200. Looks fancy. So since it's on stock, let's... Uh, let's buy one for ourselves. Let's make it all white, and then the... Aircraft gray. Right, got my A321. Oops. <laughs> Where was I going? Alright. Advanced customization. Alright then. I just picked out a random airline from Reality and Jack's photos. Just to show comparison. So do you want a SATCOM on this or none? So the SATCOM is always in, in front of the stabilizer. Alright, tell me where the static port is. I I don't see the visual difference there. Alright. Static dischargers. I guess it does. We'll make this internal. Hmm. Let me confirm. Hmm, yes, it's internal. So, you want the Zora mask, the metal, or none at all? Cockpit windows. I think it only applies to these four here. And then the engine options, they're... Oh, you're limited. Okay, so you want 5B, or... They don't have 5A for this one. So, or you want... So... You want the I... So you have a choice of CFM56 5B, or the... The V2500. You want a single strike or dual strike? Well, my aircraft has dual strike, or the chosen aircraft I'm going to have, as it has. And then the winglets, you want standard, you want it in hands, or sharklets. It has sharklets on mine, chosen on mine. Then, And then Stangor wing route, you want no belly or streamlined with the this or this. We'll use streamlined. And there's a base variant. You want the 100 or the 200. So take note of this.
it has a lesser stall speed at the cost of range. What do you think? What airline am I'm thinking of this? Anybody? And that is your Airbus A321-200. Hmm, have they updated the NEO? Oh, not yet. They, <laughs> I think that's next on their list. Let's double check. It's not yet. All right. So that was the A321. Now let's see what's on the list here. Shall we go for the 747s? The question is, which 747? Let's start with this one, the China Airlines or United. or challenge, it's also prod windy for some reason. All right, let's start with the 400. Yeah, all my 400s are still, were in the old format, so every one of them used prod and Whitney. So we're back here at Anhedral. Let's advance, customize this. And now you have more options. You have more options. Hooray! So we got default, which is the Procter Whitney 4062. And then if you want, uh, I think it's only Mahan. Yeah, only Mahan Hair still uses Front Whitney 4000 and yeah, Atlas Air as well. But you're gonna have more options because 400 ER, that's you can have Qantas. Right, there's a SACOM A. SACOM B, right. All right, you can also convert this to the RB211 5524H, Rolls Royce. So it's, you can have British. Finally, we're normal players. British Airways. And the most important, the CF6 of General Electric, GCF6 ADC2. Now you can have Lufthansa, <laughs> as intended. I might change it to Lufthansa soon. There it goes, your action options. All right, let me pull out the photos for the November 118. Uniform Alpha. Do they have a SATCOM? Alright, there's a SATCOM in front of the stabilizer, so let's see if it matches this. We have one A. This is behind the third door. And there is two A, which is behind the third door. I guess this is the correct one. And you got SACOM B. And where is that SACOM B? That's above the, it's above the fourth. Let me double confirm because this will say All right, that must be it. So for United, that would be 2A and 1B. Oh, so you just have for the CF6, you get extra two kilometer of range. For the Rolls Royce, you get three dots of extra maximum speed. So you want speed or range, but for this purpose, it's because it's United, we'd have to use Front Whitney. 
Now, there's also a base variant for an ER if you like Qantas. So it adds more range at the cost of stall speed. We're using a normal horn here. And there's some visual change there. There's, there's some windows removed on the top deck. All right, then, let's purchase this. It's 400. All right then, let's go for the freighter. Oh, the other freighter here, let's use this one, Korean Air. Let me pull out the Hotel Lima 4647. It's not 4647, oh, it's 7647. <laughs> no, it's 47467. Four, what am I looking at here? All right, standard car car cargo door there. That's 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 important. All right, for the four hundred freighter, you get these options. You want to make it ERF, you'll get more options. Extra range. It adds some stall speed, but you get more range. You want a sack come installed, it's around here, in front of the cargo door. And you can also change the engines, so you get as usual you'll have more options to this. So Korean or Singapore. Oh I thought Singapore already retired. So you've got product Whitney. 4,000, and then there's the RB211, Rolls-Royce, Cargo Locks, anybody? And General Electric for, well, the rest of the aircraft. And there is your... <laughs> 747. And uh, this is... Since this is the particular registration, this is not a extra range variant. And it does have SATCOM. Of course, it has SATCOM. Right, there's your 400. Freighter. Okay, let's see which which one I could convert to normal aircraft. I, I don't want China. Okay, so which one is owned by me? All right, how about this one? This has Air Pacific. Now it's Fiji Airways. Before I'm going to convert this to the BCF, what do you think of this livery? This is the earlier iteration. The later one had this removed, these removed. And that's the old wing side E. How perfect, or how great is this <laughs> scornful piece of art? All right. Well, well, I'm sorry for this, let's see, but I'm going to convert this to the cargo variant. Hang on a minute. Cargo variant. Cargo variant. Hang on. Where's the... Oh, yes. You have to convert from a 400. So, and then 400F, you know, oh, heck, oh, that's right, you have to convert it from a Boeing converted freighter, what kind of logic is this? You convert the 
to the 200 LR to the freighter, but what kind of logic is this? All right, but you can't convert a converter freighter to the freighter for some reason. All right, so let's, okay, 142,500 to convert. They don't tell me what variant. Is it the Bowie converted or the pure freighter? Now it says dedicated cargo variant, so this is the, the freighter and it just costs 35000 Of course, what kind of logic is that? But there we go, here's the converted freighter. And I'll have to change this to Atlas or... Right, so much of the BCF variants have already been sorted out. But this kind of logic? Ah, alright. Alright, so here's your SATCOM options. You want to install, it's the same SATCOM. Then here's the window configuration. You want it. You want the option A, you want the option B, or the option C. So option C, see the top deck. A, B, See, it's just the top deck, C. And the engine, you want Proud and Whitney, you want Rolls Royce or General Electric. So, same. Same options. But I recommend always either the GE, but. Well, hold on, this since it has Air Pacific, then. Yeah, we'll wait for, we'll wait for my painter to put something else on it. So we just converted the Air Pacific into this. Right, that was the Boeing Converted Freighter 747. I think that's about it. We got the normal 300, we got the... 200... Yeah, the normal, the 200, you get the Proud and Whitney and Rolls Royce. Well, Proud and Whitney, that's it's just A and A. That had Proud and Whitney, and then the rest had Rolls Royce for some reason. All right then, let's now go to the point. What other aircraft do you have? Oh, that's right. There's still some more choices there. All right, it's at Linwood. So... We'll use this one here, the RQ-4B, Global Hawk. Northrop Grumman. What do you think of this US Air Force livery? Think they, have, they could have added more of this? Top is white, the bottom is consistent with the body. So here at Linwood, we got the... Where is that? Okay, not the SV-1. We... Okay, we got the 767 back here, the Dreamliner on stock. Here it is, the Sparrow Stealth Fighter, the Boeing X-32A. X-32A. So it says on the, on the PDF, it's, it's the one that's lost to the F-35, so let's, let's make this flash white. Oops, that typing again. So we can see Stealth Fighter there. That's your X-32A.
Oh. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the dealership again. Let's... Oh, there we go. Is it on stock? And it isn't. So, let's now teleport to Lernavo. Or, are there other aircraft at Linwood? Oh, yeah, the... There's, there's one more... New aircraft at Linwood Joint Air Force Base. Where is that? Lockheed. Oh, here it is, the Black Widow. The Northrop P61A Black Widow. A late World War II fighter. So it's colored green. So it's Let's use this one, 77, 71, 45. Oh, that's, that's a bit light. Okay. Yep, 113. Well, this is a good approximation there. And here is your Black Widow. Oops, ah, why the... All right, there we go. All right, concurrent players, as the hour begins to pass. The Black Widow. All right, the next aircraft is at Lernavo, the aircraft carrier. So we'll use this F-35C. I've locked ours on. It's raining. <laughs> and there we go. We got another orange rarity. And it still has experimental on here, so it's a Boeing X 32B. So there's no other new aircraft release in this, <laughs> in this carrier, so yeah, the X 32B, what's the difference? So let's uh, add the flash white. That's your X thirty two B. So there's one of each. So you can add the option to remove the testing gear. The X32B. All right. All right. I've just overlooked the triple seven conversion. That's the 
extra range special freighter. It's a blue rarity. So this this one here. And look at this, the triple seven three hundred yards now blue purple rarity. <laughs> Well, what a sense of balance. And there's triple seven nine. Right. Let's see. Where's that other one here? So, is this mine or? Yep, this is. It's owned by me. So. All right. So, what do you think of this older Saudi livery? I think there's some. Issues with the tax. Tries to be perfect for the, but, but for this reason, I can convert this to an ER to a special freighter. So same detail kit, good quality, but the, the tax is a bit off. Right. Just perfect timing. All right. Let's convert this to the cargo variant. For the sake of the record. All right. Sorry, Saudia. I'll just need one. Now it's the extra range standard freighter. So you have advanced customization, you want the SATCOM or you want Windows, you know Windows, or Windows. Yeah, there's also on the door. So SATCOM is installed here, just above the fourth. And there's your triple seven three hundred ER, the extra range special freighter, the SF. All right then. Let's teleport to Adhesal City. I have a plane there. All right. Yeah, this I have to let someone. <laughs> so here at Ed Eagle City, there is a blue rarity <laughs> VTOL. Think this happened? All right, an air lighter, failed air lighter. Try to. All right, so the Hawkler Sidley HS 141 or 141. So it's late 70s. All right, so let's. Oh, what? This typing issues. Why is it res the text box resets? Okay, what does the concept line have? All right, should be same color or let's make it aircraft gray. Then color three is the wings and engine. And 
There's your eight sets one for one. Let's teleport to Castle Adol. And which one do we need? Alright, so let's try this Be Quiet Project 1.42. The Foxglove. Add on the dealership. Alright, somebody needs my attention? I guess not. So, concurrent players at the- oh, <laughs> okay, not yet on stock. Alright, where's the new end you played? Alright, it's Super Constellation, the military variant of the Constellation. The C-121. The Lockheed C-121 Super Constellation. Well, Super for some reason, it's not the normal constellation, according to the Wikipedia. So we need aircraft grade all of them. This box again. All right. Here's your super constellation, or the advanced customization will allow you to take it to a normal constellation. Besides, the military variant of the famous Connie. So, C-121. And you can convert it to the EC-121. Warning star, so a surveillance variant. There's a right home. So notice the difference. There's your warning star, it's super constellation. It's not much difference. Just reduce statistics, such for special missions. There we go, your super constellation and warning star. Alright, now where is the super constable? The Connie. <laughs> it's an Ocony. So we'll use this aeronautica to teleport. And the Connie is the multi engine. There it is, the 1049G. Right, I just switched mice. There's your super constellation. So really...
Oops, yeah, that's aircraft white. There's your super constellation. What do you think the advanced customization entails here? The 1049G. Right, the next one is at Oscar Floy. So, where is Oscar Floy? <laughs> right. Let's use this one, the Max 9. Why is it there? What do you think of this livery? It looks good. However, the, the inner wiglets, the logos are. The logo's large, sure. But the rest seems good enough. So where's this new aircraft? The Samska SK. Oska. The, the 60B. Let's wait for it to render. The Sam SK sixty B, the SK sixty B. So what does it say here? Trader. The Swedish Air Force. It's yeah. That's historically. Accurate. Two seat attack. Right. Let's put it on a jet black. So, so. Right, this is the the SK sixty B. The Saab SK sixty B of good historical importance. Next one is at Europa, so we'll, we'll be teleporting out of Oscar Floyd, the pseudo Keflavik, to Europa International. I got a few orange rare aircraft you want to buy. Ariane, <laughs> it's all it's all orange rare, and Ariane. I have to log this before selling. So, you see the area on Europa, and here it is. The, the Soko.
All right, the soko, the kid, what is it, twa, ah, oral. The soko, J22A, oral. Serbian for eagle. Ground attack aircraft. It's not just ground attack, it's... Uh, Could customize this to other variants, perhaps. All right, so we'll use aircraft gray. Does the Sorb still use these? Ah, oh, oh great, not again. All right, so. All right, go back to the. J what is that? Dwa. Yep, the Serbs still use these. And then the color three should be the armaments. So the J twenty two A, the Soko Yugoslavia, the Soko J what is it? Two A, the J twenty two A. Next aircraft is at Rishkorosh Regional. So let's teleport to Rishkorosh. I got a lot of planes here. Will you want the Kayev or please this big Dwatsat Divyat A? Or not Dwatsat Divyat A because this has already been advanced customized to the later 19 variant. So, where is the new aircraft? These two? Oh. Alright, helicopters. So, we got here a Milmi Vosemte. The data reporting name of Hip C. The Mill 8, Mill Bossum. And a variant of this, the Mill B Bossum TB. Hippie. So military variant, and there's the utility variant. You got arm. You could uh, put armaments in here. So it's the Milvosim, the Milate. So the NATO variant, NATO variant, not NATO variant. It's okay. There's it. Yeah, TB. TB, or it says here, Milti Right, so here is the 
they're the same. So here's your hip C and utility and hip B, the military. So that's about it. That's your mill bosom, the mill eight. No change in statistics, just which you want to use. You want military or not? The next one it's is at double routes. So we oh <laughs> yeah, it's in my orange tag. So no more routes there for space. So we'll, have they already updated the Firkin or the Sorksem? Not yet. Not yet at least. Right, so where's this new aircraft? The oh the <laughs> dealership. The jet engine. It's, is it blue rarity like the there is a ball, no ball. Oh right, it's orange rarity. So unlike the B1, this one is orange rarity. I guess for a good reason. The White Swan. The Tupolian 2 store shift this yacht. The 2160. T160. The data reporting they have a blackjack. Yeah, note to self, I should buy at least one. For myself and for reselling. So it's anti flash white. So 242, 243, and 244. So, so this is. This is the body. The, the sweep wings for the color 2. And the horizontal stabilizers for color three. And I guess there's like customizations for these, which are would put for the. Oh, there's there's no advanced customizations for this. Oh, goes forty for me, Lou. And here is your. T one sixty or T one sixty blackjack. The poly of two store shift is yet. All right, so that was the that was it. So we got here the the Ilyushin Il Devianoso Shestrista, the Ilyushin Il ninety six three hundred Camber. It has no NATO reporting name, After, like the Il was this a chest? Good addition to this. And look at look at this. It's uh so much change there. It's The three star. Okay, so this should this is supposed to be Cabana, so Charlie Uniform dash Tango one two five zero. So here at Fiskar, Pseudo Havana, and there's still no advanced customization for this. <laughs> well, you got the point there, but there should be a SATCOM. Alright, this is Generation 2. That's about it. There's your 
Hill 96300. Name's reporting name of Camber. Well, yes, they just still have a stack of options there for some reason. Il Defino Sociestrista. And the. And this hasn't been updated. The Il Defino Sociestre. Oh, really? Right. This hasn't been updated. The Il Divino Sucheste, the Il 96T. Who, who would say Il 96 for this one? Alright, with the Il Divino Sucheste aside, let's now go for the Bobber. The B17. So it already has its own advanced customization. Right. Advanced deliveries, it's two prong. Alright. So here are the options for the B17. You want wheel covers? Yeah, it's like hubcaps. <laughs> and the base variant. So the default is the B17G, the Cheon Trail Turret. So you, you want to also kick it into the Stinger Tail Turret. This one here. Or you want a an the SB17. So according to this, the, the S3, it's the rescue variant. So the rescue variant, we got the Caller 3. Uh, is this a boat? Kind of looks like a boat. Uh, <laughs> so the rescue variant has the Caller 3. Yeah, it says here it's a lifeboat. You could also convert it to the YB40. It's a gunship escort. Just according to the PDA, it's just 25 instances for made. So what's the difference between this and what? So you got turrets. How many? So it's got more advanced turrets there. So it's a fighter S, not a fighter escort, a bomber escort. Yeah, it's a bomber escort. And you can also convert it to the previous B17 variants, the B17 E and F. So the B seventeen E is a uh, mid World War Two, and then seventeen F is the upgraded version of the E. So do you see any difference there? So the E just gives you a balance of range. The F has some visual differences. So this is the, the G, this is the F, G, F, G, F, G, F, well, this tail difference for the, these G variants, and then the F, yeah, there's turrets, being the different variant, uh, across different variants, uh, the E, so E, F, it's just, what kind of, <laughs> what kind of what kind of livery would you put on an E? So that's about it. There's your B seventeen.
right, what else on the list? Okay, so aside from the Cardi, we got Eric. Right, let's teleport to Kappa. So, let's use this system 172. And there are some players. They remodeled this to be like the actual Sapsama airport. Wait, is this Sapsama Yoshima? Ah, there's a volcano. And you see, there's a present. And they're not crates yet? Come on! I thought you were going to upgrade them to crates. But they're still presents. Okay, so it's... Oh, really? Is this a typhoon? Yeah. Alright, so it now looks like... Satsumai Oshima! Airport included. So what do you think? Welcome to Kappa. It well, it doesn't say such like Oshima. Yeah, it's... Why well, I might come this at the wrong timing. Ah, just... You'll see better when it's day. Alright. Goodbye, Goober. Alright, and then let's teleport to the Jodai Chang. Now it's another name. It's Yujo Pehai. So, what flag can we use? What, the Fisher Wing? It's still solid colors. And it's just the name that's being changed. Shodai Chang is now Yun Cho. So Yun Cho is Peqing, or you pronounce it as Beijing. Yeah, Peqing. And then Peihai. That's, that's, that's it's really ambiguous. There's no there's no accent. So Peihai means like oh, it's like Shanghai. Because Shanghai means the upper sea, and then Beihai would be North Sea. <laughs> right, so Yunshou. Then the airport's still the pseudo Taxing, or Peqing. And we can end it here. Okay, let me double check my notes. Any more change? So, night vision saves. We want the green phosphor, the white phosphor, or the yeah, green or white phosphor, and then you'll see water vapor on the plane, then snow and rain. Let's, let's see if there are any... Let's see on the map. Any rain on here? Hmm. I don't see any good airports around here. That's maybe on our server. Hmm. We can access it from Anakson then. Alright. Before we go to Anakson, here's the here's a Quanta 737-800 livery. What do you think of this? It's uh Victor Hotel, Victor Yankee Kilo. And it has the name Mori. I put the best it has SATCOM. Do you think it's perfect? I say it's almost perfect. It's the logo is smaller. Yeah, it's, yeah the, 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 the types could be bigger. There's the it's a normal eight hundred. So let's teleport to Alexander if we could see. We could uh, can we access the rainy area? And no, not not a chance. And look, it 
Does it resemble the New Zealand I Does it resemble New Zealand? Oh, wait, wait, we got it. We got it. This is the foggy part. We can't actually the snow, but... Here we go, this is Ericsson. It's somewhere in New Zealand. Yeah, Palvers are north. In the NZ. So, not much change to the airport, but the island itself is updated. And there's Kirsten there. Let's let's close this video going to Kirsten Field. So we'll use the F-35, this Royal Australian. F-35A of the Royal Australian. Or the one I've been using, the Aquilon, the Nord Atlas. Well, it doesn't matter. So here's Kirsten Field, and there's not much change. Well, does this represent any airport in reality? But I guess it's... Yeah, and actually it's been updated. I think just, uh, yes, so this island here, uh, it's just better than the last one. So with that, I think we can end it here. Let me see how many concurrent players we have here. That's, uh, right. Right. I will see you everyone on the next Aeronautica video. Cheerio mates.